Today I'm going to read for you a book of plausibility, an exercise in mindfulness. And it's written by Frank Zelo and it's illustrated by Jennifer Zion. Do you know what a plausibility is? A pausability is taking a pause just for you to stop and notice what you feel, think and do. A pause is, let, is being in the moment and giving yourself a break. There's no wrong way to pause, so it's hard to make a mistake. Some pauses are silent while some keep you moving. Pauses should be calming so things can start improving. Come, let's explore a world of pausabilities. Take a breath deep down from your belly and let it out slow. Relax your muscles until they feel like dough. Have something yummy and healthy to eat. Notice the flavour. Is it salty or sweet? Go outside and take a walk. Listen to silence and try not to talk. Let the rays of the sun warm your body and face. Take time to slow down. There's no reason to race. Draw, paint, colour or just doodle. Make your body limb like a spaghetti noodle. Wear your favourite and most comfortable clothes. Be in the moment and wiggle your toes. Be good to your body and to your brain. Take the time to listen to the, one, to the sound of the rain. Turn off all the things that have a screen. Splash your face with warm water and make it clean. See your reflection and make a huge smile. Smiling makes us feel good and that lasts a while. Say something nice to, some, to yourself about you. You are kind, smart and other things too. Reach your arms to the floor and take a bow. Take a pause, forces, focuses on what's happening now. Stretch up high as far as you can reach. Step bare feet in the grass or the, or the sand at the beach. Notice the wind when it blows through your hair. Take a pause on your bed or in a soft chair. Remember a funny story or a silly joke. Visit a furry friend and give them a gentle stroke. Find someone you have, find someone you love and ask for a hug. Wrap yourself in a blanket so that you feel comfy and snug. Accept what you are feeling as neither right nor wrong. Take a pause will make your mind and body strong. Taking a pause does not have to be hard. Take a pause in your room, at school, on the bus or in your yard. Taking a pause is easy, you see. Making time to pause and practicing is key. Have you learned how to take a pause? If so, give yourself a round of applause. When dealing with life's difficulties, stop and think about a world of pausabilities. Can you come up with other pausabilities? Just let them flow. They're endless possibilities. What's in your world of pausabilities?